Welcome back to Chamber of Horrors. I'm Mercy Desdemona, and I will be joined later in the episode with my co-host, Reverie Adams. In this episode, we will be taking a look at Deadstream, which is a really good film and one that I personally think everybody should take a look at. I first watched it on Shudder. I'm not sure if it's available on other platforms now, but it's definitely something to give a look if you're into things like Evil Dead and, you know, picking and mocking influencers. It's really fun. So the plot of this film is we are finding a, we are following, sorry, not finding, an influencer who kind of fell off and is trying to apologize for things. So he goes and live streams his time in a haunted house. What's really great about this film is that they actually make it truly believable. It has actually a good found footage film and the special effects are awesome so if you're into practical effects i highly recommend this film not to mention just the story alone you know at first it kind of sounds iffy if you just read the plot but i promise you spooky fam you will turn out enjoying this film we follow him as he's going through the house weird stuff is happening a fan manages to find him and unleashes some spooky goodness there's this really gnarly scene where he has to eat like an eyeball or something in a dirty tub which is completely gross and it made the hair on my neck stand up which is completely awesome we always talk about how that stuff is missing from these films i really like how the actor portrayed the influencer too with the constant begging and trying to fix things and all this kind of stuff that they do. It's fantastic. You really actually believe that he's going through it while he um, is trying to get all these ghosts. So he gets trapped in this house and the characters are really believable. I give it a spooky fam 10 out of 10. Now, I want my spooky fam to actually take a look at this film and let me know what you think in the comments down below. It has the great practical effects, like I said, cheesiness, but not overboard. It's picking on modern day, which if we can't take a laugh at ourselves once in a while, we're living life wrong. Um, and it's basically picking on the live streamers that try too hard and aren't being their authentic selves and we can all kind of like see through it, but they don't think we could see through it. You know what I mean? Um, and another thing too is like when I was researching a little bit for this film, people were pointing out that even though the house is supposed to be like from the 1800s or something and that like, oh, the furniture was from the 70s. Well, you know what, guys? People could have lived in the freaking house afterwards and just left furniture. I'm just saying like that's a weird thing to be nitpicky about um, unless I'm missing something. But I would say give it a go. Sorry that this review is so quick. We are in the midst of planning a whole bunch of new stuff coming forward. Uh, be sure to follow us in all the links in the description down below. If you're a part of our Twitter, go over there. We post up polls to see what's up. And now I will send you over to Reverie Adams for this week's Trick or Trivia. Hey, it's Reverie Adams. This is Trick or Trivia. And we like to talk a lot about dying here, right? Well, my phone is dying, so let's do this in one to three takes, all right? We got this. Okay, uh, take one. Uh, true or false, which I know true or false are like a cop-out kind of question. And um, no, I don't got anything to add to that. I just, it's a cop-out. So true or false, uh, the Facebook and Skype accounts for Unfriended are real accounts. Maybe. Two, uh, at what point in filming Hard Candy did an onlooker call the police thinking a real attack was taking place? Was it A, when Jeff runs naked down the street, B, when Jeff is on a roof screaming, you're not going to shoot me, C, castration scene, screams overheard by a passerby unaware the building was a filming location, uh, D, when Jeff knocks Haley out but Haley attacks him from behind and smothers him with plastic wrap. Number three, uh, before filming the movie Cam, who in the cast or crew attempted sex work in preparation but did not make any money? Uh, was it A, the line producer Krista Boren, Boriani, forgive me, it's going to get worse, uh, B, actress Madeline Brewer, that was a star, 
C, uh, director Daniel Goldhaber, or D, co-producer Daniel Garber. That's what we have for now. Uh, let us know what you're thinking in the comments. We're working on bigger and better prizes, uh, especially for our live stream questions. So, um, peace, love, and corn syrup blood. I hope you enjoyed Trick or Trivia. If you'd like to play along, go ahead and leave your comments down below. As always, stay spooky, stay weird, and we will see you in the next episode.